Good morning. Thank you, Chairman Kobe. I do want to echo Chairman Kobe's thank you because the work that we are here to celebrate today is a result of a partnership not just between DPI and Halifax County Schools, but also to the community of, in Halifax County, to the students and the parents and everybody, community leaders who have worked so hard to improve Halifax County Schools. For the past seven years, we've been on this journey together to address the needs of your school and to strengthen teaching and learning from kindergarten through grade 12. And over those years, you have made significant improvements as a result of your hard work. And your students and your educators have worked extremely hard in the schools for this to happen. So thank you for your partnership, for hanging in there with us. At times it was a little rocky. We made it through and we kept our eye on the ball and that was the students in Halifax County and that we all want good things to happen for our children as they work through the school system and then get, leave, and leave the school <coughs> system for productive lives. Uh, the results speak for themselves, and we are so excited that you are not on the low-performing list of districts in our state. The community recognizes that work, and I understand that this fall they approved a supplemental tax to be able to provide. <laughs> that speaks volumes. It says they have great confidence in you and want you to continue to do well. So these steps forward to me are significant and a great reason to be here today to celebrate and look forward to your continued success. Now what's important to me is to recognize and to acknowledge the work of folks. And anytime you start doing this, you're going to leave somebody out. Uh, but we're going to try not to do that. First, I do want to acknowledge the work that Dr. Frederick did when she was here. Um, <laughs> I want to acknowledge the hard work that Dr. Pat Ashley did and Catherine Brooks, who both have moved on to, um, Dr. Ashley retired and Ms. Dr. Brooks moved on to other educational opportunities, but they were on the ground here working very hard. And so I think it's important to acknowledge that very dedicated and hard and commitment that they had to Halifax County Schools. And I want to introduce uh, Dr. Nancy Barber, who became the Director of District and School Transformation. Uh, upon Dr. Ashley's retirement. And then we would like to recognize some other individuals, those who are here in the room who have continued to work with you from the Department of Public Instruction, some staff that we think need to be recognized. So I won't come back to the podium after Dr. Barber um, introduced the staff, but it, it has been a pleasure getting to know folks here. I haven't been able to be up here often, but Dr. Ashley and Dr. Barber were here all the time at all of your meetings and working uh, to make sure that the students in Halifax County benefited from the partnership. And so I can't tell you, I, many of you do not know, but I have been associated with Halifax County for a long time. Uh, many years ago in a different role, I actually did the training for your academically gifted program. I'd come on Saturdays for weeks and weeks and weeks. And so I've worked to certify your teachers in gifted ed. So I've been coming to this building and enjoying your lunches and your fellowship for many, many years before I ever took a role as deputy state superintendent. So it's really exciting for me to see the progress that Halifax County has made because I've, been, I've known you for a very long time and I am so excited about the good work that you've done. So thank you for letting us be a part of it. Or for, and for being such a good partner. 